Finder of Market Club with your 1 p.m. market update for Tuesday, the 16th of August. Hey, it's good to be back in the studios. And, uh, you know, gosh, uh, you know, I was thinking, uh, well, let me just take a couple of minutes and just talk about Obama's Magical Mystery Tour. You know, like a lot of folks, I enjoy the music of the Beatles and watching the news this morning. It struck me that President Obama's bus tour was not unlike the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour album of 1967. But let me explain. Here we have a president who is so out of touch with this country that he's going through that he finds it necessary to go out at taxpayers' expense on a three-day bus tour to announce that he has a job plan. Well, that's good news. But wait, and this is the magical part. He's not going to announce this plan until after his vacation. That's the mystery part. If he has a plan, why didn't he announce it? Did America really need to see and hear him announce that he has a plan and not announce it? I think not. If you're unemployed, that's the last thing you want to hear, and that is your president. The leader of these United States has a jobs plan, but his vacation is far more important than everyday American jobs. That's just not right. <laughs> okay. By the way, one of my favorite tracks from the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour album is, wait for it, The Fool on the Hill, written by Paul McCartney. It sort of fits the bill, don't you think? Okay, let's go to the markets and the six markets we track every day for you. And we're going to just jump right to our portfolio manager, and here it is. You can see we have three reds and, excuse me, four reds and two greens. The two greens, of course, are the precious metals, which we've been talking about being positive on. Uh, gold continues to be positive. Uh, it's off the highs of the day, but certainly off the lows of the day, too. So it's acting very well. Silver is sort of dragging a little bit, but uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But you've got the... S&P 500, even though we had a rally yesterday, is still down. Uh, trend is down. Uh, crude oil still down. And you've got the dollar index in a downtrend and also the Reuters CRB index still in negative mode. So let's go right to the first chart we look at, and that's the CRB index. And excuse me, this is going to be the S&P 500, I'd rather, rather. But this is what I'm seeing in this market. And one of the things I want to share with you is how we use the Fibonacci tool. It's a very powerful tool that you can use with Market Club. The tool's right here. Uh, Fibonacci is named after the 14th century mathematician Fibonacci. Uh, and these are a series of numbers and retracement patterns that work for some reason very well in the financial markets. It's maybe it's nature's law. So let's just take from the high point and we'll just drag this down so you can go here. So we take the, the most recent high, which is right here. And you can see the 1223 level here is a 50% retracement, and the 61.8 is a 61.8% is at 1,252. Now you may remember the this level, and I'm just going to draw this. How beautiful and symmetrical all of this is. Let me get my drawing tool out, and I'll show you. And that is, if we just take go back to these levels right here and just draw this line. Oops, so let me just take the uh, Fibonacci off again and just draw this line. I take that, uh, there we go. So we just draw this line right across here. And it comes in right around the area we think it's going to be a problem, which is the 1,252 level, which is a 62% retracement. That's the Basically, the neckline of this head and shoulders top, it's not unusual for a market to come back. And I think we'll have a little choppy action. I think it'll probably continue right through the end of this month and possibly through September. But I think eventually, after September hits, we hit another cyclic high. And I think we'll see the market start to go down again. So I think there's some opportunity probably for short-term traders only to be maybe looking to buy this market for a pop. But you are trading. Remember this. You're trading against the major trend in that is down. The weekly and the monthly are down, and that puts the odds at selling rallies, not buying this market on strength. And that's where you want to be very careful. But again, I think we'll see. Let me clear everything the screen off again. And let me just put the Fibonacci tool back on that we looked at. Uh, and that's going to be from here. We took from this recent high. Is dra drag this down to the lows, and you can see the levels we're looking at right around this level, the 1252. I think if it gets up there, uh, I would probably want to be a seller of this market, thinking we're going to make new lows 
and possibly go much, much lower. Trend is down. This market now has a very, very large top, a uh, defensive top, and we talked about how you took energy levels and energy fields. Well, this is a huge problem for this market right now. And that's a big, big top for any market to overcome. I don't think we're going to see a scenario where we saw in 09 when the market just sort of started picking up. Um, I don't think we're going to see a QE3 come in. I just don't think the country can afford it, and nor is it necessary at this point in time. We've got to take the medicine somewhere along the line here. That's how capitalism works. So let's clear the screen and go to our next market, and that's going to be the silver market, and uh, here we are. And here's silver. You sort of mixed bag in our triangles. The monthly is up. It's been up for quite some time, from 1874. The market's currently 3984 uh, right now. The weekly's down, um, and the daily's up. So generally speaking, it's still in a trading range here. It's really not clearly defined. Uh, we could put in our Fibonacci tool here as well. Uh, this is where this Fibonacci tool, I think, is a phenomenal help to traders because we'll drag this down to the lows. And you can see we got into this 50% zone. We had the break. And this is the area, between I think, between 41 to 43, this market's going to have problems in the short term. This, again, this, is, this market has not acted well uh, when you compare it to gold, which has acted extremely well. So I think you have to put that in consideration to your thinking and trading. So certainly it's not the gold market. It's the silver market. And silver, it t silver tends to have a sort of like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde personality. If it's going up, it's a precious metal. If it's going sideways, it's an industrial metal. So I think that's how you have to look at it. So let's take everything off the screen, go to our next market, and that's going to be gold, which has gathered all the attention here lately. And, oh, that looks like a bad data point, which must have just come in here, folks. So let me just go to a close-only chart. Yep. And let's just uh, get this real close into like three months. Yeah, that's uh, screwing our charts up. That must have just come in. We'll clear that up for you, of course. But uh, gold, generally speaking, uh, we're looking at this market. See, the monthly came in, and that's not correct because the gold threw in a bad tick. Now, every every data feed, whether it's uh, Reuters, Teller, excuse me, SunGuard, whatever, it is, they all have bad data points that come from the exchanges. It just can't be helped with so much traffic, so much business, and so many transactions. Bad ticks do get in, but we do our very, very best to clean them up. This will be cleaned up. In fact, if Jeremy is watching, I'm sure he'll be cleaning this up as we speak. So we'll see if we can go back to that market in just a bit. But let's go to our next market, and that's going to be crude oil. And crude oil is still negative. We've got the weekly and the monthly, uh, these two markets right here. They're in a negative mode. You can see we'll put the candlestick charts back in, which we like to watch. And we talked about this market last time, going out of the channel. And usually what happens when markets go out of the channel, they tend to come back in. Uh, you can see right here, basically very slightly there, again here, and again here, so and again here, and here. So they tend to go back into the channel. Here we have a uh, correction taking place. So what do we want to do? We want to use a Fibonacci tool again. Grab it here and uh, pull it down. And you can see basically we're looking at the around the 1991 level uh, as being resistance. I think that's going to maybe happen, but it's going to take a little while to do. I think we'll go back and forth, some choppy action, have another push up. But eventually, I think we'll see this market probably roll over in the same vein. We'll see the stock market roll over to the downside. The major trends are down, and you have to respect the charts. I mean, it doesn't matter what the politicians say or do or the um, economists say or do. It's what the markets do. That's what's important. That's the sum total of all the best knowledge in the world at any given time. So definitely go with the trends, and the trends right now for Crude oil are still on the negative side. So let's take a look at these levels. If we get up there, the 91, 90 level, and uh, we'll see how that uh, how that plays out. So let's go to our next market, and that's the dollar index. This has been an amazing, amazingly boring market. It's basically gone nowhere. You know, with all the stuff in Europe, all the stuff here, it just really hasn't uh, 
hasn't gone anywhere per se, and I think you you just have to wait until one or two things happen here. Either we see a, uh, a break below the lows, uh, which is very possible, uh, which would be right here. This is the, I think, the 93.50 level we talked about many times, but that's certainly support. If we see the market break below there, then I think it's a good chance we'll probably take out this level here as well. But for the moment, we're in a trading range, and it's best, unless you're a short-term trader, just to stay out of the market for the time being until a trend has been firmly developed. So let's clear the screen and uh, go to our next market, and that's going to be the CRB index, I believe, if everything's in order. And here's the CRB index. Again, this is a, a negative chart uh, according to our trade triangle technology. Now, when you trade with the trade triangles, you're putting the odds in your favor, and that's the important thing to remember. So when you close, let's say from here, the highs, drag this down to the lows, and you can see that we're getting to an area 333, 337. This is where this market should run out of gas on the upside. Uh, potentially, if inflation hits, then this is going to go much higher. But for the time being, and this is for the time being, uh, we have to respect what the charts are saying and how they're acting. So we may run into resistance right here where the market is right now because of this previous low. And But certainly, I think these levels, 333, 337, I think are going to present enough uh, of a resistance for this market not to go much higher. So, hey, lots going on. And, you know, we have our show tomorrow night, uh, the weekly show we do on Wednesday nights, 5 o'clock. We want you to call in this phone number, 410-867-2100, extension 129. And uh, just for doing that, we are going to basically give you, actually put you in a, a raffle, if you might, to get a free membership to Market Club. So it could that phone call could be worth over $450 to you right now. So give us a call. We have operators standing by. Leave a message. And it doesn't matter. You can ask about the market, ask about Market Club, ask about the dollar, ask about all these different markets we track, the six majors we talk about every single day. Ask us about those, what we think, and we'll give you the answers we know uh, that can probably help you. But again, give us a call. You can't win unless you come in and give us a call. 410-867-2100, extension 129. We'll announce the winner on the show. And again, watch the show. It's a one-hour show. We do it at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, so be sure to check us out. Once again, give us a call, 410-867-2100, extension 129. Hey, this is Adam Hewison for Market Club. Great to be back. Great to see the markets moving again. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Stay tuned.